Alright. And are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright. Well, then we just do this. And I snuggle up real close. Snuggles! And then it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then it died. This happens sometimes. The reset button got stuck in the down position, so it's to re just reset the reset button. It's resetting itself thousands of times per second right now. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if this is good for the game. <laughs> Why does everything I touch tonight die? There we go. That works. Oh my god. <laughs> what are these horrible monstrosities that he's showing me? <laughs> Seize the day. <laughs> oh. No. Hello, everybody, and welcome to OX Girl Fu being very disappointed in her choice. I'm very disappointed. You can't see it, but I'm wearing my serious disappointment face right now. Oh, by the way, this is OX Fu and OX Girl Fu, in, in case, case you, you were wondering. <laughs> and this is Pokemon Stadium. Yep. This is. Oh, it's Girl Fu's first... First Poke anything. Yeah, and I decided why not start her off with the worst. At least it's not Pokemon Pinball. Aw, <laughs> oh, Pinball's cool. Two-player battle. Oh wait, this one doesn't let us choose. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. It's actually probably the best. So just, I don't know, mash buttons. <laughs> it'll uh, easier, be it'll easier to... Bit, it'll be easier to choose. I'm gonna squash one more. No, you can squash these two. Four oh. as well. The C buttons as well. Alright, and press A. Alright, so we just po picked three Pokemon at random. <laughs> Why not? This will be the easiest way to teach her. Alright, so I think that's mine. Pikachu against Psyduck. I get to be the platypus. Yep, the uh, very spastic platypus. So, what you're gonna do is you hit A to battle. Okay. And, well, this is what you normally do, but I'm actually going to tell you to do something else. And then you hit the R button, that's up here on the top, mm -hmm. to check your moves. you got to hold it. Yep. And see, that'll tell you what each C button does. Um, mm -hmm. So, why don't you just choose an attack for now, and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, I'll choose... How I feel right now, which is confusion. All right, and I and you get the C down, and I'll choose this one. So I use quick attack. That's a normal attack, and the thing with it is it doesn't do that much damage, but it lets me go first. Unless you're also using quick attack or something like that, then it can spare their speed. Mm -hmm. And that just uh, is a psychic attack, which. Um, has a chance to confuse me. Mm -hmm. um, now the thing is that each move has a type and each Pokemon has a type. For instance, Pikachu is electric. Boogie woogie woogie. <laughs> <laughs> and Psyduck is water and psychic. Actually, I think Psyduck might only be water. I, I am not sure. I think Golduck is water and psychic. In any case, um, see how Thunderbolt, the top one of my moves, it says electric next to it. Yes. If I use that against a water type, it does twice the amount oh of damage. <laughs> I'm not going to use that. Well, actually, I am going to use that. Like but what you're going to do? Yep. What you're going to do though is press B. That lets you look at your other Pokemon. So press R to check. And see, you have a Psyduck, a Cubone, and a Meowth. Um, Cubone is ground type. 
which means that it is not affected by electricity, and Meowth is normal type. Um, so I'm going to say press C right to bring out your cubo. Now normally on the first turn I would have just used the Thunderbolt, but um, I just wanted to show you... Oh, hey, attacking. So you're going to throw out your cubo, and then Pikachu's going to use Thunderbolt. Pika! And it's going to miss. Um, if it had hit, it would have just said, like, oh, it's not effective at all. Um, no. I'm boned. <laughs> By a Cubone. Um, so I'm actually going to change mine as well. Um, I'm going to change, I think, to a Sandshrew, which is also ground type. Now you get to battle, though. Okay. Or you can change if you want, but... So you press A first a. to battle, and then you mm -hmm. are to check your moves. Now you've got a few good ones. Um, matter, Earthquake is a pretty good damage dealer. Uh, it's very good against electric types. Body Slam is also a good damage dealer. Um, has a chance to paralyze. Submission is a fighting move. It hurts you when you use it just a little bit. And Focus mm -hmm. Energy raises your critical hit ratio. Which every so, every so often there's a percentage that you'll do... I think it's like three times the damage you'd normally do. Right. I'm gonna try... The trainer hasn't uh, issued something. an order. Okay, that's a good choice, actually. So, that? See right, yes. They strike fighting poses. Now, person who's switching a Pokemon, that always happens first. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that changes later on, in later things, but... There's a couple moves that can negate that in later generations, but we're not going to worry about that for now. So you're going to use Body Slam, and you paralyze me. Now what that means is that every turn there's a chance that I won't be able to actually attack. So I'll just stand there and take whatever hit you give me. Okay. Um, now it's up to you what do you want to, what you want to do. Um, I'm going to go for an attack. You can either battle or Pokemon. I guess you can run, but you'll automatically lose. I don't know what happens I'll with that. Battle again. Okay. So I hit A, right? Yes. A. Oh, by the way, the point of all this is uh, the person who the matter, knocks out all the other uh, all their opponents' Pokemon and all their Pokemon are left standing is the Wiener. The Wiener. The trainer okay. hasn't issued an order. So I think I showed you that Johnny Wander comic, um, Charles Darwin meets cockfighting. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I see it now. Um, I'm gonna try an earthquake now. Except it'd be like if chickens could cause earthquakes and shoot lightning bolts and... <laughs> I'm gonna tear down your brick gopher. I'm gonna tear down the establishment. <laughs> Ooh, that did some good damage. I'm going to use Sand Attack, which actually lowers your accuracy. Oh my god, it's in my eyes! So there's actually a chance you're not going to be able to hit. Mm -hmm. um, now, status effects like that can actually be negated if you switch out your Pokemon. Okay. Um, so that's up to you. Right now, you're not at that big of a disadvantage, because if you use Earthquake again, it actually doesn't... I think it has 100% accuracy. Mm -hmm. Or, um... 100 accuracy points at the beginning, so it's not that bad right now. I think it's at 80. Yeah. I'll stick with that. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? That's the big question. What are we going to do with another one of these? What's the matter, trainer? So what are you... What's the oh, matter, so trainer? What are you doing? It's my turn again. No, no, we do it at the same time. Oh. Um, oh, I get it now. Okay. The trainer hasn't um, issued an order. I'm gonna... Can I do the earthquake again? You can. You see how it says um, nine slash ten. Oh, that's how many I have left. Uh, yes, what you have matter, ten is the total you can you can have at the beginning of a fight, and mm. the one on the left is how many you have left. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Um, same with see how under their names they have like sixty slash one thirty for me. Uh -huh. That's um my current health versus my total health. Yeah. Or my maximum health. What's this? The Pokemon's feeling it. I decided to the do this first because now everybody's level 50. 
that actually makes it a little bit easier to teach you because now I'm, I'm just able to teach you the battle mechanics mm -hmm. and not worry about a lot of the RPG elements. So is Cubone's skull on the outside of his head or is he just each other down. somebody else's? Um, it's actually the skull of his mother. That's creepy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, what does focus energy do again? Uh, it raises your critical hit ratio, which is not a bad move. Um, I believe in Gen 1, though, don't use it. Because it actually lowers your critical hit ratio because of some weird error in programming. It, it's, really, it's really helpful in later... Oh, you hit me. I was expecting that, though. I just wanted to get your accuracy down. I'm not really a big fan of Sand True, anyway. Um, I'm gonna send out Bulbasaur. Bulba, Bulba, Bulbasaur. <laughs> Still gonna what? <laughs> yep. Um, He's got a giant garlic on his head. Yes, I guess. <laughs> or an onion. Without the shoots. Um, yeah, I'm gonna They're do that. Staring each other down. I don't know what I was, what I was talking about just a second ago. <laughs> I know you're talking about Cubone, but... Oh, I forgot to tell you type differences. So, Bulbasaur is a grass and poison type. Uh, what I just threw at you is Leech Seed, which will drain your energy... And give, I believe, half of it to me every turn. Now, you just use a fighting move, which is not that that effective against grass types. Um, go to battle for a second. I think your best bet right now is to either use Body Slam again, keep using Body Slam against me, or try for an Earthquake, because he... Bulbasaur is Poison Grass, so you'll do... Super effective damage with Earthquake against the Poison, but not very effective against the Grass, so it'll be just regular damage. Okay. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Um, we've been having pretty good luck with Earthquakes. So. Alright. Now the thing is, I'm a little faster than you, and I'm a Grass type, so I just use Razor Leaf. And you're Ground type, and Grass is super effective against Ground. So I just almost took you out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, thing with... Oh, you missed. I guess those sand attacks came back to bite you in the no. Um, So I'm going to take you out in the most humiliating way possible. No. With a cut. No. <laughs> a paper cut with a leaf. Um, but the other thing with Razor Leaf is that it has a high critical hit ratio as well. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of the most broken moves of the first generation because Bulbasaur gets it pretty low level. And it's really good, and you get 25 uses of it. Mm -hmm. So, anytime. Uh, has Switch my Pokemon? You can. How do I do that again? You press B. B. You can switch your Pokemon at any time. Uh, and you have a Psyduck and a Meowth in the, in, waiting in the wings. The trainer hasn't issued an order. I'm gonna try it, kitty. Okie dokie. Meowth, that's right. <laughs> so angry looking, then so happy. Ooh, that didn't do that much damage. I scratched it back. Alright, now Meowth is a normal type, which means that it doesn't have many type weaknesses. I think that the only thing it's really weak against in this generation is fighting. Um... But that's both a blessing and a curse, because it's not really strong against any... Well, it's not strong against anything either. Mm -hmm. It also can't be hit by ghost types. Okay. So, it's really like an everyman Pokemon with equal strengths and weaknesses. Um, Ooh, fury swipes. Yes. I get to scratch it in the face. Yep, that'll do 2 to 5 hits, matter, uh, 15 trainer? damage, or 15 power each. Mm -hmm. I keep saying damage, but it doesn't do 15 damage. It does... Something. So let's see. One, two, three. Is that five hits? I've 
Oh, no, four. just four. Okay, I, I've never seen Furious Wipes in this game before, <laughs> so... Right, but I'm gonna use Sleep Powder. See if it puts you to sleep. Okay. Oh, it failed. No, what I can do with Sleep Powder is Sleep Powder will actually... Um, render a Pokemon unable to battle for two to five turns, and... I'll just be able to attack it at will. Each other down. I would not recommend using Growl. It's yeah. not really a good attack. Uh, it lowers my attack, but that's kind of useless when we're level 50. I'm gonna try Thunder. Um, okay, before you do, oh. do you see its type? Electric. Electric. What um, oh, okay. I am a Grass type. Yeah. Does, oh, well... I haven't even told you about the type difference um, for electric, but electric is not effective against grass, okay. which makes sense in this case, kind of. Yeah. But, um, so you're catching on. I get it. So uh, I'd actually use Fury Swipes again or Takedown if I were you. Yeah. Let's see what Takedown does. Takedown does a bit of damage, but it also damages you a little, too. It's kind of like submission in that way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, see, major Ooh. damage. I'm almost dead. But you got hit with a bit of a recoil. Now I'm going to try Sleep Powder again, because I, I, I really like the status effects. It no, it, and it failed, so I'm probably going to die next turn. So, I'm actually going to take him out for a second. But pretend you didn't see that, and just go I know nothing. Go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you will. I should have probably actually put a leech seed on him and then tried because that's usually my that's usually my strategy with a bulbasaur i'll usually throw a leech seed on and that'll sap the health and then i'll throw a sleep powder on or a paralyzed powder or something mm -hmm. Pikachu. Pika. <laughs> two. oh only two times okay so did the bare minimum it's okay though. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go through th Thunderbolt because you've seen Paralyze already. Mm, yes. There's three more types of status effects. Um, each other down. But I figure we'll run into them eventually. Mm. Use Thunderbolt! Thunderbolt. Oh, so close. Ooh, that's not nice. Oh, now you use an electric attack against an electric Pokemon. Usually, when you use, when you see a type, you don't want to use the same type against it, because it's usually strong against that. Oh, okay, I am assuming this red which label was attached to it. I thought it was uh, a normal, not electric. No, Pikachu is electric. No, the, the action that I selected. Oh, Thunder? Uh, and I thought I chose uh, something that was not Thunder. <laughs> Well, no, you chose Thunder, as you, you know just saw. that now. <laughs> so anyway, the trainer um, has issued an order. Yeah. Okay, let's see if you can survive this swift. Oh no, you went first, so I'm pretty much screwed at this point. Oh, oh, that's wow, that's really lucky. Now the thing with Swift is it never misses. Oh, you killed my kitty. But. It's not really that powerful in attack, so... Alright, so you've still got two Pokemon left, though. Yeah. I've only got, like, 41 health on a Pikachu and, like, 10 health on a Bulbasaur. So you're still doing pretty good. Okay. So... I gotta pick a new Pokemon. Yes, you do. I'm gonna go back to the Ducky. Alright. See if you can pull this off, because I'm gonna... <laughs> the spastic duck. Put down the duck. It's like a spastic hawk. A Put spastic down the duck. If you want to play the saxophone. <laughs> what? You don't remember that from Sesame Street? No. Ernie had his little all rubber I duck. And no, no. All I remember is rubber ducky. You're so fun. You make bad time. Oh, so fun. Yeah, but then that was like the counter rubber to ducky, that rubber ducky you're the song. Only, only one for me. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> no, I don't remember put down the ducky if you want to play the saxophone. <laughs> no, you have to. In the tub? No. What's the matter, trainer? Yeah, what's the matter, trainer? <laughs> I was distracted. 
<laughs> Sir. Yeah, you should try that. But... Well, think about it. Water is weak against electric. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that water is not effective against electric. Okay. What's the matter, trainer? Water actually does normal damage against electric. If you have any questions about type differences, just ask me, because I know most of them. There's a few I'm a little bit weird Whoa. on, but you died. Sorry, Psyduck. You did. Let's see if you can pull this off with a Cubone. Cubone. Get on, bone. Get on, bone. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Get on, bone. I like Q. I like Cubone's voice. Get on. I have to prove to you that the anime is not crap. Because it's it's campy. It's campy, and you you say you like camp. I like good campy. I think it's good camp because it's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe I might appreciate it more now because I'm not the serious-minded 11-year-old that You're I was not at the time. extremely picky anymore. Ooh, yeah. I got you. Yeah. I really thought you were going to get me with the Psyduck, actually. Oh. Oh. You still let me win. No! So that I have a good first experience of this game so that I don't need it forever. No, I'm supposed to let you get close and then come with a with a comeback. I'm supposed to get let you get close to give you a good experience. And then I'm supposed to come with a comeback to show you that you still have much to learn. Uh-huh. And then I'm supposed to let you win the next one. Uh-huh. <laughs>